say from those uh, Christian cults, um, brick and mortar churches that lead you away from Christ. If they're not leading you to Christ, come out from them. I don't care how nice they are, how welcome you feel. If because you have a post there, they let you count the money, they let you usher, they let you sit in the sing in the choir, they let you uh, uh, to sit on their boards, their uh, 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 board of directors or their whatever, uh, whatever they allowing you to do that you can all do on your own anyway. <laughs> you don't need a group of them to tell you what to do uh, anyway. To, they don't give you permission mission to do anything. You're not in slavery to them. You're a slave. You should be a slave to Christ, to God, not to mortal men. Okay? But but run from them that they don't uh, uh, if, if everything is causing fear, you know, they, uh, the devil this, the devil that, and let's break out of this. It's the, every time something's going on, if you can't have children, or if you don't have a spouse, or you don't have a job, or, you know, you're being mistreated on your job, or whatever's going on in your life, they tell me it's the devil. It's the devil this. It's the devil that. Let's pray against it. And then they want to force it with these... So so-called fiery prayers, they so-called fight. They're so-called fiery prayers, which are just really antichrist, demonic prayers. Because you never saw Jesus praying in that manner. Hello, hello. Go to your Bible. Study the life of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Study the life of the disciples as well. Look at how they lived and how they prayed and how they uh, 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 ministered and, and everything. Just follow the life of Christ. How did he minister? You know, how did he pray? How did he tell us to pray? Matthew 11 is, or wherever it is about the, uh, the, uh, the prayer. How he told us to pray. You know, that's just a format. Uh, but, you know. Any, anybody that's telling you that's, you know, everything is the devil and pray against it and, and die and do all, uh-uh, mm-hmm. better run. You better run and you better double run. I remember, my, uh, you know, my, uh, one of my, my grandbabies uh, was telling me, um, he, um, he made me aware of the fact that he thought that Satan was more powerful than God. I said, huh? What? So it's in that Christian cult that he learned that or got perceived that by the prayers that were being prayed. Because it makes you think that that God has no power but that or that Satan has more power than God. Because it's they always fighting against the uh, against the devil. You know. And they used, and they feel like all the devil is the one that always has control over their life. It's a confusion. Anything and anybody that's not leading you to Christ, you better get away from it. You better get, don't leave. You don't have to give off for them any, uh, 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 what do you call it? Explanation. Uh, whatever. You don't have to give them any information as to why. Just go. Okay, get your things, get your family members, and go, and go and repent unto God Almighty for getting yourself into anything and ask Him to protect you from whatever you've gotten yourself into. Okay, <laughs> ask Him to cleanse you of all of that because that is some some foolishness right there. It's many cults, many they call their their in, in quote their Christian their Christian cults they are cult. But they do call themselves Christians, but they resemble not the Lord at all. They resemble not. You are the church, beloved. You are the church. And what did you tell? What did Jesus tell the uh, the woman at the well in John chapter four? You worship what you know not. You don't know what you're worshiping. We know what we're worshiping, but you know not what you are worshiping. So, beloved. You know not what you are worshiping. You better be careful that you are serving, that you are worshiping, that you are in alignment and in in league with uh, the the real, the true and real, the real and true and living Jesus Christ, and not a false one, not a counterfeit one, okay, not a pretend one, not a fake one. Because many are out there. There was that Peter. Um, 
who was that? Uh, it wasn't Peter, but I can't think of who it was. That said, many of have gone. They have all. They have gone out from us. They were with us, and but they've gone out from us because they were not of us. It's many false things out there. Everything that is true has a counterfeit. <laughs> okay, it all has a counterfeit. And, 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 and Satan is, is good to, 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 to make a counterfeit out of something just to, to, for, to, for, to fool. And, and the Bible tells you that even the very elect would be fooled because people think they're wise and they, you know, and some of them are good hearted, good, you know, they, I feel like they're, uh, I hate to say it, but, you know, they're good hearted. Let me say this some people just have gone astray and they, they're followers, they're following something that they know not of. Somebody was on my our Facebook page uh, talking with, to us about who I need to, so me, myself, I need to get into the church. <laughs> Bless her heart. You know, she's, she don't know. She doesn't know. You know, that, you know, she doesn't know. And, you know, God bless her. I pray that God will open her eyes. You know, I pray that God will open her eyes. So be careful of all these memberships, even of these uh, sorority fraternity things. You don't have any business as a believer in Christ with that kind of stuff. What is that for? And then they'll say, oh, well, they do good things. You can do good things on your own. You don't need a group. What do you need all of these? What do you need a group for? What do you need people, all of this? What do you need all of that for? You know, seriously. It's not necessary. You don't have to gang up with people to be something. God always used remnants. And he always, if there was a, something large, he whittled it down. Okay? He pared it down to a smaller number. You know, you better believe it. So you worship what you know not. You be careful. And again, you be careful with this fraternity, sorority stuff. Okay? You... you <laughs> Beloved, use wisdom, oh, use wisdom. Not dummy, use wisdom. Please, be careful out here. Come out of them. Gather yourself to God, cling to God, cling to Christ Jesus Almighty. I'm speaking as somebody who was there. I'm speaking as someone who was there. I'm not speaking as a novice. I have many years of experience in Christian cults, okay? So I'm trying to help you come out. We love you very much. We pray that this exhortation brought comfort to you and or uh, edified you and exhorted you, of course. Uh, and don't forget, you can like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment. Uh, you can also share it. Go to you can go to our about section. Uh, if you are someone who has a private uh, message you want to get across to us, or if you someone who've never received Christ Jesus into your life, but you want to and you 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 want to know the steps or whatever, let us help lead you to Christ Jesus. That's our job to correct, to reform, to bring comfort, to bring edification to God's people, to put the hand of people into the hand of God, not into church. We're not going to ever, I'm, I will never, we will never, we will never, ever, ever tell you to go and find a Bible believing church. I'm not into that. I'm not into that. I want you to get to know Christ Jesus. And Christ Jesus alone. Okay? That's where I want we would lead you to. We don't lead you to, to any church, you know. We do not. Because that's an that would that would be that's alienating you from Christ Jesus. And we don't want that. I've been there. I've been there. You don't want that. So we love you very much. Don't uh so please uh we love you very much and we thank you so much for listening. Um, and or watching this video. Have a wonderful, glorious day in Christ Jesus.